Yo, you know the vibes, man. It's Chancy. Today we got 051 Kiddo goes off on people laughing at his girlfriend that he put in his music video. That's tough. That's heavy. That's a lot to deal with. Why are you put your girl in, in your music video anyway? I thought you were supposed to hire like actors and sh and like models and all that. You feel me? Like I don't know. We gonna see what he talking about though. You and your girlfriend went viral. Um, you put her in your music video. Um, you shouted her out for holding you down while you were in a pen. Um, and, you know, a lot of people had stuff to say about that. Um, which everybody has their own taste. Everybody is, everybody, you know, whatever you like, that's your business. Yo, what his girl look like? Why, what, what you, like, I don't get it. Like, why he, why say cheese is saying like, if that's your taste, it's your business. Everybody got a different taste. Why he saying that? Like, does his girl look unattractive or something? Like, a lot of people had things to say about you know, you and your girlfriend and different stuff like that. But as I can tell by talking to you, you're really loyal. Like, you don't seem it. It, it just doesn't seem like uh you deal with people because of materialistic things. Well, it seems like you go by more of the principle and the morals of people and the as way they should. move. As you should. Yeah, yeah, bro. I don't get no for what, like, motherfucker seeing or what a motherfucker think I should should have came home to. You feel what I'm saying, brother? You don't know the how, bro. I'm a street nigga. Fuck you tomorrow. I'm a real street nigga. Oh. Hold on. What does being a real street ninja? I, don't, I mean, you say the n word, you two, but a street ninja? What do I gotta do with anything about your girl being in the video? Is she unattractive? Like, I feel like, and that's no problem. But the way they portraying the interview is kind of making it seem like she's she looked different. So, what what are we really talking about here? What I'm great. That same bitch with that pretty ass face. With that fat ass booty on fat, that bitch ain't gonna do shit for me if I go to jail. And if I That's hundred percent facts. He's speaking facts. I know he uh, I'm glad he understand the game because he right he right right there. You feel me? Take notes. That fat ass booty on fat, that bitch ain't gonna do shit for me if I go to jail. And if I die, you know what the fuck that bitch gonna do? That bitch gonna go to the next nigga in an hour. Less than that, you with me? Oof, I don't be preach. playing that shit, butter. Oh, bro, I'm that, bro. I'm a gangster, bro. I'm from the grade, nigga. You talk to a real street nigga, he gonna tell you. I'm from the grade, bro. I'm doing none of that shit matter. Oh, yeah. That bitch loyal. I'm from the grade. I'm with that bitch. That bitch gonna hold me. If I go to jail, that bitch gonna bomb me out. If I get myself in situations that I can't get myself up, that bitch gonna beat up. I'm from the grade, bro. I'm from the... I ain't switching on that bitch. Nobody, you hear me? Bro, you guys have on straight fat, bro. Feel me? Because a lot of people be doing exactly what you expect them to do. You get a little fame, you you go get the baddest bitch, you leave everybody in the past. Like, nah, bro, bro talking that low, you real. Street talk, he, he right, he a real street ninja. <laughs> because I ain't hear no lie yet, man. He ain't telling no lies yet. That's exactly what a street nigga gonna say. I'm a street nigga on bro. I'm from the grade, and I'm loyal as fuck, bro. Hear that. I'm not letting up, brother. You get what I'm saying, brother? I'm from the grade, for though none of this shit amazed me, for I be outside all day. From six in the morning to night, I'm bro. I be seeing all type of shit. That shit don't amaze me. I'm not trying to talk, buddy. You get what I'm saying, buddy? I'm bro. I don't get no fuck about none of that. But wait, what are they saying about his shorty? Like, I don't get it. Like, like, what are they laughing at his shorty? What? Like, that's what's confusing me. You sound like he got his mom right, but what are they laughing at the shorty for? Gotta go check out his video or whatever. That's as real as it gets. You know, people can say whatever they want to say, but, uh, you know, whatever the fuck you doing don't got shit to do with me. You know that. You know? Um, and uh, it's a lot of niggas out here who switch up for anything just because it look good. You know that. You, you know? But once you get to know that motherfucker, you realize, man, that shit ain't... That shit ain't about nothing, you know? So I respect that, man.
just for you being you, man, and not letting people trick you out of position. Because that's what they're really trying to do. How you going to do that, though? I don't understand. How you gonna do that? You could never do that. You could never trick me out my spot or trick me out of something that I'm doing. Never, buddy. I'm broke. Words is nothing but words, bro. I'm for now. Something that they probably getting out of motherfucker dictionary or something that they probably thinking, thinking of and just making a comment about. I don't give no fuck about no words, bro. How long did you know your girlfriend in in, um, in prison? She came part of my life when I had a year and some change left. Okay. And, I mean, is this like a dating website or like did she write you a letter? Did you nah, write her a letter? Oh, bro, hell no. Nah. My homie that was next door to me, right? He was on his pen pal site called Write a Prisoner. Mm-hmm. So a little female got in tune with him. And by me being that daughter, bro, bro was fucking with me hard. You know, I ain't had nobody a part of my life at that time, you feel me? I had my brothers. I'm for them, my father. But I didn't have no female part of my life, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So bro put me in a car. He told her, like, man, look, I got one of my brothers on front of Greg. He's smooth. Like, fuck with him. He come correct, you feel me? I'm funny, enough, she looked me up. She liked what she see. She got in tune with me. But ever since she got in tune with me on front of grade, bro, she was rocking with me on both. She was sending me $400 every month. And it wasn't even about the money for you, you feel me? On both. The visits and the phone calls, bro. On front of she made me feel love, brother. You get what I'm saying, brother? On front of ain't nobody ever made me feel like that. You feel me? On both. So I had to rock with her, bro. I ain't had no choice, brother. I'm um, bro. Yo, that was some real. I don't know. I still want to see the joint because they making it seem like something wrong for him putting a girl in a music video. But I, don't, I, I wouldn't do it. But you know, like I don't know. Was she shaking her butt? Or something? Like what? What's she doing? Like was she being like a? Like, it's not wrong with shaking your butt, but like, was she being very outgoing in the video or something? Making it seem like it's her video or some shit? Like, I don't get what the, what's going on. Like, the way you laughing at his shorty for, like, like, what did she do? So, now I'm going to have to double, matter of fact, let's just go right now. Let's just go see what, what they're talking about. 051, kiddo, girlfriend. Wow, it pops up like that. I don't even have to type it in. Let's see what they're talking about. Oh, right here? I'm looking over here, but I don't see, I don't see the problem. Oh, come on, kiddo girlfriend breaks up with him and says she's single. Now, it's looking like people that's been on the outside been rapping forever. I don't even get those type of views and look at him. All right. Now, by just putting a heartbreak emoji, indicating that he's hurt and something definitely is up. If I had to guess, I'd say it's something he did. And I'm only saying that because he didn't say much about anything. Just a heartbreak emoji kind of indicating that, you know, he did wrong. Or, you know, maybe I'm just reaching. Now, like I said it before, we don't know why she's claiming she's single, but a few other posts she made to her story gave us a little bit of clues, hinting that it may have something to do concerning her birthday, because in one of the slides, she said, quote, I'm always going through something before my birthday. Then in another slide, she said, quote, Birthdays are special to me, so if you don't treat my birthday like you're glad I'm alive, like I do everybody else's, I'm not effing with you. 100 emoji. Then in the next slide, she says, quote, People do not be who they say. I made sacrifices and put people before myself. A mother effer would try to outdo you badly. I don't understand it. Then the last slide, she reposted a quote that said, Never confuse what you're offered for what you're worth. She captured it saying, quote, This... I'm not watching this. I- I was just trying to see the girl, and yeah, I don't see why people were laughing, but she wasn't, you know, top 10. She definitely wasn't a, a freaking 10, but 
Wait. But I don't see why they laughing. Like I've seen people like her before. Like it's nothing wrong. If that's what he want, that's what he want. Hey, ain't nothing wrong. That's what he like. Ain't got nothing to do with anybody else. So yeah, be out of here, man. I don't know.